So what we've done here, um, because these packs, uh, they, they flip back and forth. They're all wired in, in series in packs of three of these uh, individual um, uh, lithium ion cells. Um, and so what we've done, we took the ends off so we can heat shrink it. Um, and I've labeled the voltage of every wire coming off of here. Um, and we've got to flip it over and do the other side. And this is so we can run all these wires to our battery management system um, for this. So the cells are still under compression. Um, they are um, pouch type cells, so they need to be under compression. But that's what we're gonna do here. And I'm gonna cut some strips of ABS plastic to build this up a half an inch. So we're over these, uh, these uh, bolts right here. So anyway, that's where we're at. So I've got some uh, quarter inch um, ABS plastic here, and I'm gonna cut some strips with a table saw to lift that up over the bolts, uh, and then also to put a top and bottom plate to uh, cover our bus bars up uh, to keep anything from arcing and just protect the uh, battery cells. So here we go. adjust this and cut the top plate for it. enough piece for another top plate I'm going to go ahead and uh, for the uh, second pack uh, go ahead and cut some uh, some strips to lift it up off the bus bars covered in plastic <laughs> okay I'm gonna put a few dabs of silicone on these wires this is just black pure silicone and then uh, the spacers I cut earlier we're gonna build this up so uh, we have a nice rectangular pack Lines up good. It's good to me. This side now. So one of the reasons I'm doing this is once we heat shrink it, I don't want the bolts poking holes in the heat shrink. So. I thought I was gonna manage not getting it on myself, but of course I did. Now I get the last piece that I cut here for the top. So we can let that dry while we're, we're working on the other pack.
How does that look? It's like a professional did it almost. So, uh, <clears throat> what I'm doing right here is we've got a piece of wood. <clears throat> we we want to keep a uh, a barrier between the batteries and metal, so nothing arcs or anything like that. And so we've got a, a piece of uh, hardwood plywood, and we're putting spray in bed liner on it. Also, it's gonna stabilize it from vibrations and things like that. So, uh, and plus protect the wood from the weather. So that's what we're doing here. So uh, what I did differently here, because you have a lot of 12 volt stuff, we're gonna put a light bar in the front and everything. I, got, I have what's called a buck converter here, and it's just a, t a step down transformer. And that brings this from 40 volts down to 12, um, so you can have all the stuff in front. We can use toggle switches and you know put sound or bars or whatever we want to. Also, one thing I did is put a main disconnect breaker here. One, we can cut the battery easily anytime we want to with this, but uh, two, uh, it's just a just a safety thing. So I like to put these on my projects they're not very expensive and you know especially when you're working with lithium ion batteries i mean you don't want anything to catch fire so if it battery starts getting hot or something like that it's just gonna cut the circuit and it'll cool down and you don't have a problem so um right now we we finished doing spray in bed liner on the on the board we're working with we're about to tap some holes and bolt that down and then over here, we have put the tops on here. And we've got our balancing wires that will go to our battery management system. Um, once these are dry, we'll, um, we'll put the bottom plate on it. And then I'm gonna wrap the entire thing in acetate tape, um, which is, one, one, it'll help the moisture barrier, but it's a high temp tape. You see it in wiring harnesses on vehicles. Um, so it does well close to engines and high heat. Um, so we're gonna wrap that as a insulator. Um, and then I will put uh, some of this, um, flame, retardant, uh, flame retardant aluminum foil tape on here. Um, and it's kind of thick wrap it and then I will put you know because you do have shock on this and when I'm dealing with something that you know is going to get bumps and things like that I like to put something some things in it that you know take the shock out so um, this right here is just quarter inch neoprene <clears throat> it's like what's in scuba diving suits um, so we'll wrap it with that and then we will heat shrink it with that blue heat shrink to get it waterproof. Um, and then that's that stage. Then we wire up the battery management system. 